Hi, how are you guys? Today, we're going to be painting with scissors, like Henri Matisse, okay? So what you're going to need is different types of colored paper, like me. If you haven't got any colored paper at home, you can paint white pieces of paper, wait for them to dry, and then use them for our project, okay? You're going to need scissors, and you're going to need a sheet or a blanket, anything that you prefer with a color of your choice. We need to use our imagination. I've asked you before to think about a place where you would like to be the most right now. Remember, remember that we can't leave our house, but we can leave our house where, if we use our imagination, okay? So today I would like to be under the sea. So that's what I'm going to create today, okay? Have a look at my masterpiece and then you can try to create your own. Good luck. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to spread our bed sheet, okay? You can spread it wide or you can make it small, depending on how big or how small you want your painting to be, okay? My one is going to be a very, very big one. Now, I've used scissors to cut my paper, okay? And I've made lots of different shapes. I'm going to show you right now, okay? I made this one. I also made this one. I make different shapes like that and many, many more, okay? Like this and like that. So now you can begin to create, to create your masterpiece. Let's begin. I want to be deep down in the sea, so I'm going to try to create that. It's a lot of fun, guys. Matisse couldn't walk, remember? So he used his friends to help him. He would sit on the wheelchair and he would ask his friends to place different different types of paper, different colors, different shapes, all around the place, wherever he decided to do it, okay? And you also can ask someone else to do it. You can ask someone else to place all those shapes wherever you decide so that it looks good for you, okay? Look at that, isn't that magnificent? Matty's enjoyed different colors, different shades of colors. It made him happy and it made him travel in his mind to other places, remember? He made a jungle in his sitting room. He made a swimming pool in another. He made a beautiful snail. He made people. He was very, very creative. But he didn't paint 
very much, he would cut the paper and arrange it in a way that was nice for him, depending on what he decided. It was very free. Now this is my under the sea. Masterpiece. Now I feel I am swimming in the ocean, looking at different types of fish, different seaweed and creatures. What do you think? And the beautiful thing about it is that you can rearrange it again or you can ask your brother or your sister or your mom or dad to design their own masterpiece depending where are they going to go depending where do they want to go right now where would they like to be have fun guys and i'm waiting to see the results of your work bye